and welcome to this lesson on graphs of trigonometric functions. And first of all, we're going to cover how to fill in the table of values. Taking you through is Vincent Theory. I hope you enjoy the lesson. So, what's a graph of a trigonometric function? So, a graph of a trigonometric function is a diagrammatic representation of the trigonometric units versus the degrees. So the trigonometric units are in the y axis and the degrees are on the x axis. But before you even draw a graph, there's some of the things that you need to know before you even come and you take a graph paper and start sketching the graph down. And the first and foremost we're going to cover the table of values. As you can see, this is just an example of a table of values that you might come across during your tests or during your revision. This is how it looks like. So we have the X, and then we have the seven bit where you fill in the this, this row with the equation. Let's say, for example, for this one to maybe Y equals to three because x and the other one is y equals to four sine two x minus ten. So if they've given you these two equations, what you just do you come and write the first equation there and then the second bit you come and write it in the second row and they must have also given you a scale uh, but then the scale will be given. You, you actually know the value of the scale depending on the difference between the two values. So, like from the first case here, it's 15. As you can see, 15 is being added on gradually as we move on. Okay. So, on to how to fill in the table of values. First thing you're going to need is your calculator. And can you make sure your calculator is in the right mode? So you just reset your calculator. Then, as you can see, we have different values of x. The first one we have a 0, the other one 15, 30, 45, and so on and so forth. So, for me to fill in the value of 3 cos x, I just key in using my calculator, I just key in 3 cos and then the value of x here which is cos 0 degrees so you write 3 cos 0 degrees and you get your answer as 3 3 so you just come and write it down 3 but then I'd advise you to always use one decimal place and check on the number of decimal places that they've indicated in the question because there are a couple of gaps here that are normally filled in digits so you just stick to the same same number of decimal places as they will have given you so for our first case we found it as 3.0 so you just write 3.0 then you come again and you say 3 cos but then, the same round, you're going to use 30 degrees, oh sorry, rather, 15 degrees to fill in this bit. Just beneath the 15 degrees, so it's 3 cos x, but then the value of x is 15, so 3 cos 15. You get it as 2.897. But remember, as I stated earlier, it's advisable for you to write your answers to either one decimal place or two decimal places. So if I was to round this off to one decimal place, it will become one decimal place. So this is more than five. I just carry one there. So it's two point nine. So two point nine. I am carrying on to the thirty degrees. So we press the 3 in your calculator, cos 30 
degrees, you find the answer is 2.598. Rounding this off to one decimal place, I will consider the 9 so it's plus 1, so it becomes 2.6. So it's 2.6. Capital 1. 3 cos 45 degrees. You get it as 2.121. So in cases like this, you just write it to one decimal place. This is 2.1 so I just write the 2.1 here then using my calculator you can press the 3 then the cos which is just above the, the comma the one that looks like the comma is above that 3 cos 60 degrees you get 1.5 I hope you do this alongside, alongside me I hope you do this alongside me, so you use the calculator, 3 cos 75 degrees, you get it as 0 0.776. So as I stated earlier, as I stated earlier, it's advisable to write these figures to one or two decimal places. So, here, I'm just going to write it to two decimal places, so which is 0 0.78, 0 0.78, and due to this, I have to make each one of them a 0, so it just adds zeros, so the first case becomes a 3.0, Zero because of purposes of uniformity, I then carry on to the 90 degrees. You press the three cos 90 degrees, you get it as zero, so you can write it on zero there. And then you carry on three cos 105 degrees, you get it as negative 0.776. So if we write this to two decimal places, it gives us a negative 0 0.78. So this is negative 0 0.78. Then we we'll just carry on with these ones. So 3 cos 120 degrees, that's negative 1.50. Negative 1.50, then 3 cos 135 degrees, you get negative 2.12, negative 2.12, then 3 cos 165 degrees, you get negative 2.9. Zero. Okay, so for this case, I think your answers come as two negative two point eight nine seven. So since I have to write this to two decimal places, I'm going to consider the seven, which adds a one, which makes this one a ten. So this is a zero. Then I add another one, so bringing my final answer to two point nine zero. But then we will have a negative here in front. bringing my final answer to negative 2.90. I'm just doing this so that you can remind yourself on how to round off figures to two decimal places. So carrying on to negative 165, so in order to 165 degrees, you just write 3 cos 165 degrees. You get it as negative 2.9, negative 2.90. And then the final one, and then the final one, 3 cos 180 
degrees. That's negative three. So negative three point zero zero. So three cos one fifty degrees. So in three cos one fifty degrees. Let me just confirm. This is negative two point six zero. And then negative two point nine zero. And then negative three. Yes, and we done the first row. We done the first row. This one for three cos x. These are our values. So we can do the same for this one. But then, when you're using your calculator and you want to find the value for this, as you can see here, you just key in the four. Then you find the sign. Deji. Then you put the opening bracket, you just key in the opening bracket, four, sign, the opening bracket. But then here you have 2x, so you have to multiply the value of x here by 2. So, so moving on to the second row, where we have 4 sine 2x minus 10, you just come here into your calculator. Key into your calculator. 4 sine that the value of x in the first column is 0 so it's 0 times 2 which is 0 minus 10 which is negative 10 so you calculate and you keep 4 sine negative 10 degrees so 4 sine negative 10 degrees you get it as negative 0 0.69 which is here but then there's one thing that I'd like you to note when you're writing the negative 10 degrees you don't use the normal subtraction sign but you use the other negative sign which is to the upper left and not the normal one that you normally use for doing normal operations okay so that's it and done, we move on to the second. So 4 sine 2 times 15. So 4 sine 2 times 15, which is 30 minus 10. So that is 4 sine 20 degrees. 4 sine 20 degrees. Key it in the calculator, 4 sine 20 degrees. That's 1.37. So we carry on to 4 sine sine 2 times 30 which is 60 minus 10 which is 50 so 4 sine 50 degrees gives you 3.0641 so when you're writing that you're ready to two decimal places however I'd like you to note that at times the examiners might tell you to write your values to four significant to two significant figures rather two decimal places so you must be very keen on which standards they've given you. So if they've told you to write your values to two significant figures, please ensure that you stick to that. If they've told you to write your values to um, two decimal places, please ensure you stick to that. So for our case here, we're just going to use two decimal places on alone. Um, so moving on to the other one. Four sine 45 times 2, that's 19, this time that's 80. So 4 sine 80 degrees, that's 3.939, writing it to two places, that's 3.94. So then we carry on 4 sine 60 times 2, that's 120, you subtract 10, that's 110. So 4 sine 110 degrees, you get 3.758, writing it to two decimal places gives you 3.76 so 4 sine 75 times 2 that's 150 subtract 10 that's 140 so we have 4 sine 140 degrees 4 sine 140 degrees which gives you 2.571 2.571 but then remember we're writing our values to two decimal places carrying on to the other one 4 sine 2 times 90, that's 180, subtract 10, that's 170. So 4 sine 170 degrees, that's 0 0.69. Then 
the other one, four, side, 105 multiplied by 2, that's 210, you subtract 10, that's 200, so 4 side 200 degrees gives you negative 1.368, which is negative 1.37, and then if you repeat the procedure for all the other values for 120 degrees, on that 5 degrees, 150 degrees, 165 and 180, you're supposed to find this, negative 3.06 degrees, negative 3.94 degrees, negative 3.76, negative 2.57, and negative 0.69. So, with that said and done, you'll be able to successfully complete our first table of values, and that's how you complete your table of values. To our second example here, where the question states that complete the table below by filling in the blank spaces. You have 2 side x, 2 side x, so it is coming in the same, 2 side, but then, since we have a negative 180 degrees, remember to use the negative sign that I showed you, which is to the upper left, so 2 side negative 180 degrees, and we can just do a demo, 2 side negative 180 degrees, which gives you 0. So, the first value is 0, point zero. Okay. So, moving on to the second one, 2 sine negative 135 degrees. You get your values as negative 1.41, negative 1.41, but then if you run that off to two decimal places, you're going to get negative 1.41, so for 92 sine negative 90 degrees gives you negative 2, that's negative 2.0, so negative 45, 2 sine negative 45 degrees, which gives you negative 1.41, the other one is 2 sine 0 degrees, this one's are much simpler because we don't have the negatives, so that's 0, 0.0. The other one is 2 sine 45 degrees, which gives you 1.41. The other one is 2 sine 90 degrees here, which gives you 2.0. And then 2 sine 135 degrees, which gives you 1.41. And then finally 2 sine 180 degrees, which gives you 0.0. .0. Okay, now moving on to the second row where we have cos 2x, cos 2x. So all you want to do is, you just write cos, you key in the cos into your calculator, just this, cos, but then remember we mu we're multiplying the value of the angle multiplied by 2, so it's 2 multiplied by negative 180 degrees, which gives us negative 360 degrees. So, cos negative 360 degrees, which gives us a 1. So, this is 1.0. So, we're going to repeat the process for the other values. So, cos 2 times negative 135 degrees, which gives us negative 270 degrees, cos negative 270 degrees, which gives us 0, 0.0, cos negative 90 times 2, negative 100, so you can use your calculator, cos negative 180 degrees, and remember to use the negative sign that we said, this gives you negative 1.0, so cos 2 times negative 45, which gives you negative 90, it's going to give you 0, 0. Then cos 2 times 0, so that's cos 0, which gives you 1.0. The other one, cos 2 times 45 degrees, so cos 2 times 45 degrees, cos 2 times 45, which is cos. 90. So you can into your calculator cos 90 degrees. You get your answer as 0, 0.0 degrees. Then moving on to the other bit where we have cos 
90 times 2, that's 180. So, of course, 180 degrees, which gives us negative 1.0. And finally, to the second last one, where we have cos. Remember to multiply the 135 times 2, which gives you 270. So, cos 270 degrees, which gives us a 0, 0. And finally, cos 2 times 180, which gives us 360. That's cos 360 degrees, which finally gives us a 1. Okay. So, you successfully fill in the first table of values um, and this is what you've got but then I'd like to really really emphasize on this so if they told you to write two significant figures make sure you've written the values that are given in here to two significant figures if they told you to write the values to two decimal places ensure you strictly adhere to that okay so for this other bit the that example I'm just going to read this bit for you. So you're just going to try and fill this out yourself. So sign x, the same way we were doing the first example, negative 30 plus 30. So I'm just going to do the first two. Then you try filling in the rest for yourselves and see maybe if you can try, you can be able to fill them correctly. So sign negative 30, since this is the value of x, plus 30, which gives us negative 30 plus 30, that's a 0. So sine 0 degrees, which gives us a 0, 0.0. And then the other one is sine 0 plus 30, so that's sine 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees, which gives us 0 0.5. Okay, I'm just going to do the first two bits of the second row. So cos x minus 15. Cos x minus 15, so it's cos minus 30 minus 15, that's minus 45. So cos negative 45 degrees, and remember to use the negative sign that we said. The answer will be 0 0.97. So if I will just carry on to another example, you can see here we have 3 sin x minus 1, and our instructions are complete the table of values below. So, 3 sin x. The first thing you're going to do, you have to find the value of 3 sin x. So, that's you just keep 3 sin. The value of that is 0, 0 degrees. You find 0, you get your answer as a 0. Then, you remember to subtract 1 from the final answer. So, 3 sin x minus 1. That gives us a negative 1.0. For the value of x, well, x equals to 30, we find the answer as 3 sine 30 degrees, which gives you 1.5, then minus 1, which gives us 0 0.5. So I just do until the 60 degrees, and then we're going to try and fill this. I hope you're able to do this correctly and fill in the values correctly as expected. So, 3 sine 60 degrees, you get your answers 2.598. So, 2.598, you write this to 2 decimal places, it's going to be plus 1, 0, plus 1, so that's 2.6, 0. So, I have 2.60, take away 1, which gives me 1.60. 1.60. So, you, you can just use the same, same formula that we used to do the first 3, to do the rest. So, you just come and key in 3 sine 90 degrees, Get your answer, then subtract one from your answer. Okay, so moving on to the second row where we have cos x. So we just give cos zero degrees, that's 1.0. Then cos 30 degrees, which is 0 0.87. 
then we have cos 60 degrees which gives us 0 0.5 so you can just continue with the same same rhythm just write cos 90 you get the answer write it down there okay now on to my final example so the question states complete the table below giving you answer values to two decimal places so first of all we have a very very simple rule that's binding us so everything is supposed to be to two decimal places so we begin with two side x so the value of x here is zero so we're just going to substitute that so it's going to be two side zero degrees and you can just keep that in your calculator and find that it gives you 0 0.0 0, 0 I'll have to write 0, 0.00 since the question has requested me to write everything to two decimal places so the next bit is 2 side 30 degrees you get 1 so that's 1.0 0, 0 then 2 side 60 degrees you get your answers 1.732 so writing that to two decimal places things we will 1.73 then you can just do the same for the rest so two side 90 degrees get your answer you just calculate that here two side 20 degrees get your answer write it here but ensure that you try the first three on your own so that you can see if you can get the rhythm by yourself okay carrying on to the other one so here it's a little bit different so we have the one minus cos x one minus cos x so you just write one minus cos zero degrees so that's zero point zero if you just keep that into your calculator you can see that so you can just do that for you so here we're going to use the this minus and not this one because this is now an operation and it's not to show whether the value is a negative or a positive so it's just going to say one minus cos zero degrees which gives us 0, 0.00 for the next one one minus cos 30 degrees i'll just introduce this bracket for security purposes so 1 minus cos 30 degrees that's 0 0.133 so that's 0 0.13 the other one 1 minus cos 60 degrees which gives you 0 0.5 so that's 0 0.5 zero okay now you can try doing the rest by yourself and see if you be able to fill in to the last point and that's all for today that's how you fill in the table of values and before you conclude i'd like to urge you to kindly please 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 during this time of trials this time that you're avoiding this epidemic which is turned into an endemic I just request you to just stay at home, adhere to government rules, keep the safe distance, ensure you have your masks, and since you students, stay sober. I hope you enjoy the lessons, and that is me next time.